Well, good morning, good morning to all of my EMC family, all of my friends, all of my loved ones. And today we're back over on the east side. Now, if I was told this morning to come over the east side by any person, I would not have done so with the kind of inclement weather that we have and the kind of clouds. Believe it or not, when it got here, the rain was coming down. But it's actually, it was only drizzling a little bit light. But now I understand why we were brought here because look at this amazing morning that we've been brought over to this side of the island for. Stunning. <laughs> I noticed our two notorious gun singers this week are back on in full force this morning, struggling and power fighting each other to see who can be the fastest flinger. All right, we're at a place called the Beach House. Now this is a one-stop shop for you for the bath area. If you want to come here and just chill out for the day, buy something to eat, do some kayaking of the bath lagoon, or even do some hikings in the hills and areas around here this is where to come it's called the bath house i will get you bath beach house i will get you a picture of that and put it up later on so you can have all the contact information different world entirely as you can appreciate over here is also suffering somewhat from the sargasm but that doesn't take away from the beauty that we're going to see i have already done this walk this morning so i know what we're going to be encountering so let us start first of all the correct way the way that we like to start with our serenity prayer let's go God, grant us a serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Okay, everyone, get ready for big shock. Haven't done this for years. Clean, clean, clean. So, <laughs> yeah, things have to change, and I made a slip with the razor yesterday, so I decided, well, rather just walk out with a half a beard, or half a mustache. I will shave it all off. Anyhow, welcome to you all and greetings to Barbados. Beautiful, beautiful area. We got some real action for you, some beautiful spots. Um, we are like a mid-tide now. Low tide is approximately 10, 10, 15 or somewhere around that time. So it's a mid-tide. But as you can see from here, there's lots of sargasm in this initial area. But it doesn't stop the activities from this point here with this, um, with the beach house. Because you can easily, easily walk around with kayaks and stuff and enjoy it beautiful setting absolutely an amazing idea this place never had anything of commercial uh, commercialism except for the place the NCC Park where we'll be passing soon so this was a brilliant idea now their hikes will take you all over these hills um, up here just to the inland of us here in the parts of St. John by the way and they have hiking paths through all of these hills some extreme ones and some easier ones as well beautiful beautiful place Okay, let's go on with our walk. Just have a look though at what I, when I left home, was overcast, raining, looking very bleak, and had me actually second, doubt, second doubting what I was hearing because to be honest with you, I did not imagine we would find this when we got over here. But as I always say, we followed the path that's laid before us. This was the path for today. Coordinates were received, coordinates were sent on to everyone. Good morning to you all. I noticed you all, um, you all may have noticed this morning from our advert, that we have um, our care team undertaking some secret investigations to find a triple decker bus and also to find additional hostess if required and that has been done and leave that entirely up to them so we'll see as you can see it's beautiful over here it's absolutely stunning a lot of these homes are up for rental but long term so they're not really weak homes or anything like that um, but if you want you can always investigate the bath beach and look for um, rental homes a lot of these along this area are for rental. A lot of them are actually um, used by the owners at different times of the year, so they're not always available, but there are some that are available that you can get for sure. A different world entirely. This is the quiet East Coast. Unlike Bathsheba and Calwash, I refer to this as a quiet one. Unless you get a bank holiday, of course, when down here is very busy down by the actual NCC, the park area. That's when we get a lot of buses coming over here with loads of Bajans. And also visitors sometimes just relaxing and enjoying the day but why wouldn't you when you see what we're about to experience if you do not know bath you're going to understand why everybody comes here all right i was investigating a walkthrough this morning because i couldn't get up to the um the beach house by itself on the beach because of all the sargasm and tides a little bit high i'm sure at low tide it would have been a little easier but i'm um, not waiting around for that of course beautiful 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 way all right, I have a couple of announcements to make this morning. Happy birthday to Tracy Henderson. I actually did write it in the palm of my hand, as you can see. 
I told you my brain is like a sieve, so I wrote that down last night when you messaged me. Happy month anniversary to my darling angel. It's the 25th of the month again, baby. And I feel closer to you than I ever have, although we're separated by thousands of miles. So happy month anniversary to you. And I also want to welcome on board my godmother, Andine. And thank you for the call last night. Your encouragement and inspiration has been amazing. I really appreciate that call. You know, thank you very much. Go you know, back to on what's at hand. We are in the bath beach here, as I mentioned. You will see the waves break on the outside section. This is a shallow reef that runs right along here. This is known as like a lagoon on the inside here. Something like a St. Lawrence Gap, but it, you see the tide doesn't get low enough really to expose the whole beach like that south side. And there is a channel. Um, if you're on top of the hills and you look down, the channel is approximately 70 screen. You will see that there's a deep section there you can get in and out if you have a boat, but a small boat of course. And one where the waves don't break unless it's very large. But when you come down here and you're in the hill and you look down, you will see horseshoe shapes of how the waves come through and the rippling effect that comes through the channel. Just stunning. Beautiful, beautiful rental properties down here. I mean stunning. Lovely views. You can imagine waking yourself up in the morning and looking out and watching a sunrise from this deck. I don't think you can want anything more beautiful than that. Stunning! Okay, let's just get the focus back on and move again. Got a fairly long walk for us again today, but that seems to be what we're doing now. We're doing more of a hiking tour, which is fantastic. We can do some inland hikes shortly. Good morning to Ryan. I see you on board this morning, my friend. I would think today is probably better surf conditions at the bowl, but I'm not there to confirm that, so don't go over there on my word. We have a lot of these metal structures or metal pipes you see sticking up along the way. As you all would know, this is where an old train line used to come through in the years gone by. So there are a lot of, um, of the upright poles still sticking up here, um, all through uh, by Glen Burnie. Uh, right down into Bathsheba and Bath and stuff, you will find them. There is an old trail road that used to come, train road that used to come through here before, or train track used to come through here before. So you can get rentals from the basics. Richard, like this here, two 20 foot containers, two 20 foot aluminum containers put together and turn into a, a living accommodation. Or you can get the way more at market, beautiful homes like that as well. So all types of facilities down here. You just have to decide on what you want, the kind of money you want to spend if you're interested on staying on this side. Remember, you could swim here in the lagoon right between the beach and the reef, especially. Um, there's like a trough there as well, it's easy to swim. But swimming down here is really not that great, to be honest with you. So if you're coming to do long swims and stuff, I wouldn't recommend down here if it's as to stay in. If you want to come and touch nature and be at peace with life and enjoy what God has given you, well, this is definitely a place you can do so for sure. Stunning, stunning landscape. All right, guys, I'm not looking at the, um, at the actual comments now. As you know, I address them later on. And I address them as though I was looking at them. So when you hear me say good morning, it's middle of the afternoon. Don't think I'm going crazy. I just get myself in a moment and I address it as though I'm actually talking to you while I'm on the hike. So you'll understand that now for sure. You can see we have a lot, a lot of rain uh, being sucked up at the moment. They're uh, beautiful, beautiful on the coastline. So I would imagine we'll get some more rain later on. They are predicting it for sure. But I'll tell you, I understand why we were brought here. What a blessing it is to be here this morning and viewing this beauty. Directly above here is Concept Bay. That's where you see the fishing boats in the distance. Um, that's Concept Fish Market. And beyond that, well, there are beautiful drives through the cliffs as well, which I will take you on one of these days. Someone has asked me to do some footage of the actual drive to some of these locations. So you can walk down uh, Memory Road. Uh, that's something that we may look into in the future, but not in, not immediately, but we can look into that in the future because I think that would be a lot of fun for you as well. Especially when you see some oncoming buses on these <laughs> two-way roads. Just hold your breath. Hold it. Here we go. This is Bath Beach. Stunning. Where the conditions beyond that, the dark clouds actually make here even more beautiful because it, the sun on this direct area here is lighting up and the background is dark, which is absolutely perfect, highlighting what we're trying to talk about right now. You'll see Lifeguard Hut in the distance there. That is the actual main NCC um, section. They have uh, washroom facilities there. They have a small bar there. 
massive picnic area. And right in that bay, just directly in front of that lifeguard hut, there is good swimming. Um, again, you don't want to go too far with the currents and stuff, but you can comfortably swim in that area for sure. Again, another rental property. I also know that some of these people live here full time as well in one of the cottages, but I know that they do rent out the other one. Just beautiful, beautiful Barbados. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I certainly am. It's a stunning, stunning day for me. Once upon a time, I used to park right here. Stop right here and spend the entire day. Bring the, at that time, I had a Jeep, which was also a war wagon. Park it right here, open the back, pull out my entire beach kit, which included long chairs, umbrella and everything, and stop. However, um, I guess I was one of those people that used to come out on the beach or pretty far out. The sign is there where um, there's a white sign there that indicates stop there. However, they have built a pavement to stop you from coming down in here. Um, because they, they're trying to keep all of the vehicles off of the beaches in the island. Especially here, because they really have some people that used to do, I know, come out here in trucks with an offload, huge picnics and stuff, and you know, cause some problems in this section. So that has been eradicated now. Beautiful, beautiful nature. Look at how this tree has fallen from its roots itself, but it's propped up on the branches. I mean, this is stunning view. Have a look at that. You want any more tropical than that? absolutely not I see we have 68 people on board this morning thanks to everyone for coming on and walking on a morning I'm hoping to do this with all of you when you come to the island today we're celebrating the color green because Barbados is on the green list now so I will see a lot of you that have been postponing your vacations in the near future don't forget when you come to Barbados we do have someone here called the Bajan warrior he's not a violent warrior he fights for love and peace that's what he fights for in unity so that's the warrior that I am. All right, we talked about the NCC facilities. That's the washroom section there. Uh, all, the, all the facilities are here if you need to come and spend the day. You know, this place is designed and, uh, to accommodate people to spend the entire day. Not just to come here and walk by, to come and actually spend. You can see the picnic tables, uh, as I said, in bank holiday times, or on some Sundays. Out here is rammed with people, in this section especially. And then you find little pockets of people up in the further areas um, to the east of here. Sargasm down here, back in 2015, I have um, pictures, it was on my birthday actually, 5th of April, that I was um, given a bus crawl um, by Kermit's Beach Bar. I like to mention them, that's where all my friends were at that time. And we came down here and the Sargasm was about 8 feet tall, directly here in front of this lifeguard hut. 2015 and 16 were terrible years to sargasm here. We still get it, but nothing like that. Beautiful facilities, as I mentioned before. Everything you can want. Lifeguard here as well, as I said, which is wonderful. All right, I think it's a good spot to do our silent 360, so you can hear and appreciate the birds around me and everything that's going on right now. So. Here we go, Silent 360. Okay, I uh, see a question here, um, what's it called, Nick? But I think you're maybe um, referring to the area, it's called Bath Beach in the parish of St. John. Very easy to find here, you can put in your GPS and come on over, or the maps of Barbados. Just have a look at these seagulls. Healthy, healthy ocean, beautiful, beautiful skies. Stunning. Rain is much needed, so I'm very, very happy for that. Praise the Lord. All right, we're gonna walk on again. There's parking, lots and lots of parking. Um, very big car park area there. You will notice that that brown vehicle, which is actually white, is the war wagon. 
uh, that brownness is because uh, it needs a loving tender care but that will get done in the near future it's plans to do that but right now i'm just too busy with you all i'm um, not really just calling myself looking for a lazy excuse are right, we going to work our way up a little bit because uh, as you can see the sargasm is pretty heavy we're just going to take in bath beach today because yesterday where we started at by tent bay um to where we're going to end today there's lots of off routing there it's beautiful stunning but it's going to take some time to do so we're going to leave that for when we have some time we'll probably do from Bath to Martins Bay and then from Martins Bay to Tent Bay but there are going to be multiple videos because that would be just too long to do in one but we will be doing that so don't worry folks you get to see all of the coastline now if you're coming on this road here there is a section here that I say be wary of falling rocks because you can see that hill there is very very steep and sometimes you do get a boulder that will come down uh, I haven't actually seen that for a long time, but if there's heavy, heavy rains, that is more than likely to happen. So if you see that sign and you're a little concerned, just park and walk. As I said before, we're going to do some exploring. We're not just going to park or drive uh, to different locations. We're going to explore what's in between them as well. Still got quite a bit of sargasm down here, but look at the color. We've talked about that before. You would know this is old. There is a little bit there, new stuff coming in, but majority of this is old and starting to decay now. I don't smell anything right now, so, I mean, when I say don't smell anything, I don't smell any decaying sargasm. So down here is very pleasant right now. Take a little bit of the footpath here that carries us down below. I hope you all have your all's coffee and snacks with you. For those of you that live in England and up in that area, hope you have your lunch with you. I know it's a little early for lunch for you all, but some people do eat at that time. You notice there's some hoof prints here as well. There is a stable um, just over the cliff from where we are. I will see if I can get your name. I can't remember it offhand, but I have seen them riding down here quite often. So if you're a person that likes to ride, well, this is definitely a beautiful place to do so. Lots of quiet sections today. One is I catch you my breath. <laughs> two, is, uh, two is I want to let you enjoy the beautiful, beautiful sounds of down here. So I'm going to go back on the quiet mode for a minute. Just until we get around to the next bit. And let you enjoy what we're seeing. Or your next cove. All right, I am getting a whiff of the sargasm here, so I'll have to note that. So if you're coming here, um, please do expect that if you're here on the island right now. Under me when I'm stepping here, there's a spring, a spring in the step, and that's because there's uh, lots of sargasm that's buried below this fresh sand. Um, you see there is some fresh one here, but it's all buried here. So I'm going down pretty much ankle deep in some spots here. Um, woo, that was definitely an ankle deep, almost lost my shoe. But these awesome water shoes. Whoa, that's another one. Okay, shoe's gone off for sure on that one. So give me a second just to put it back on. That was pretty much like a stepping in a, a mud pit. So that's how the sargasm helps the holy sand. As that decays, the sand will go down, of course, but it does definitely help with the holding of the sand in place. correctly they call this rock the mother frog and just beyond here uh, as you can see the sargasm on here is extremely extremely heavy but you can't see it has been eaten out in between so I would imagine this would be all one solid wall earlier on maybe a couple of weeks ago but this will go as well one big north swell one big east swell this will be gone for sure right beyond here just to explain to you what we're seeing place called Chab Bay just around the point there itself and then from there there's a hiking route that goes right along that cliff line area into Martins Bay and then from Martins Bay right down 
into Bathsheba, well, into Tent Bay and then beyond. So we have lots and lots and lots of landscape to take in. But before we go, I'm just going to take it to a nice place that settles, settles my mind a little bit sometimes. I like to enjoy. Again, these beach homes here are for rental. Let me give you another look at beautiful Barbados before I go inland anymore though. Jeez, on. Top boat, stunning. Goodness gracious. Look at that. Nature at its best. If y'all don't feel peaceful after this video this morning, you give me a call. We need to have a serious talk. <laughs> All right, now as I mentioned just now, this is some place that's very, very peaceful. We don't have too many of these in Barbados. When my angel came here in 2016 on our first island drive, I told her that I was gonna take her to some waterfalls that were as big as Niagara. Well, her reaction when we got to this point was hysterical. I have actually a video caption capturing her talking about the massive waterfall in Barbados. But I just wanna show you, this comes from a natural spring. It's just up in the hill from here by Bath Plantation. So it can be, you know, when we have heavy rains and stuff, it definitely is a good flow, but most of the time, it's just calm and relaxed. And it's somewhere that is a beautiful place to come and chill out. I used to drive down here, that was years ago. So that's definitely gone now. Those of you that have come to Bath before and have never been in the back here, this is what we call the Bath Waterfall. I think it's a perfect place for us to end our walk this morning. So this is our Niagara Falls of Barbados. I hope you all are enjoying it because it's stunning. All you do is get close and let us relax and enjoy this sound for a few seconds. I guess now you understand why my angel laughed. It was hysterical. I do have it on video, but she's asked me not to air it. <laughs> so it depends on how wicked I feel. But anyhow, no, I would never do it if she asked me not to. She didn't really say not to. It's quite comical though. It was a, a, a memorable day for sure. I remember that as though it was yesterday. Anyhow, folks, I hope you all have had a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this. This is our hike, ba this is our hike of Bath Beach itself. And it's given you a chance to see the beauty and peace that surrounds us at all times. I am going to most definitely sit here for a few minutes and just sit in silence and reflect because this is a beautiful, beautiful location. Any of you that want to see this here, you know how to get to it. The road that comes into Bath, just follow that directly through to over a small bridge and it's the last uh, roadway up on your left. However, the bridge is very, very, very narrow and you may be a little concerned about coming over it. So I recommend that you just feel safe and do whatever. You can park above and take a little walk as well. You know, this is a popular spot as well for people who are in their picnics. So we'll come and picnic up in these areas and you can understand why peace, peace down in here is unbelievable. And so to everyone, thank you for joining me again. It's been a fantastic Friday. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Please go forward in peace. Remember, God has given you today as a new day. You don't look back at yesterday except to learn from it. You do not bring that blame forward. You have been forgiven. Forgive yourself. You cannot love someone if you don't forgive yourself and love yourself first. So the most important thing is, is that you love yourself and accept you are who you are and just strive to be what God wants you to be. And that's as good as you can be. Not the word as good as you can be. He does not want you to be perfect. You are not God. You leave that to him and you live your life and do it the best you can. And tonight, if you find that you've done something that you feel sorry for, you reflect on that, learn from that, and move forward with that as a lesson. Don't carry it forward as blame and guilt. Blame and guilt, you will succeed nothing by having them. They're not a part of your life or should not be. 
you can always feel it but living in it that is a definite no-no you can feel sad depressed and lonely living in it that is definitely a no-no you live in peace and happiness and joy you love your fellow man just as you love everyone in here and i'll see you all tomorrow god bless and stay safe everyone